Hello everyone, my name is Albert and welcome back to our 100 Studios video. And well, yes, I know it's been a month. I haven't uploaded anything. But hey, tutorials take a while. Okay? And also have stuff to do besides this. So, with that out of the way, we are weight painting today. This is the first part of the weight painting series because Literally, I cannot make this tutorial in one go. It's too much to explain, it's hot outside, my brain doesn't work well. And, well, yeah, it's just too much. So, I'm dividing it into certain parts. Hopefully, I'll be able to get them out on a good schedule. Or, yeah, anyway, I'm hoping to get all the parts ready by, I don't know in more of days but still that's all i like to explain and this is why not this is where why you're not here so what is weight painting a little common mistake or not common not so common mistake i was doing this in my newbie days or my noob days i was confusing weight painting with rigging so what is that and what is that weight painting is citing, assigning a certain influence of a bone to a vertice. For those of you who don't know what are vertices, well, they're little points that create a 3D model. For example, if I were to select this guy and turn this and laugh, well, you see a lot of vertices. And those connect lines and create this cube. So, uh, just plain and simple, like just explaining the interface. The way painting or the UV. This thing, wait to be drawing, that can also be accessed by F6, is the window that you're mostly going to work with. So, in order to weight paint, you must have a bone selected. Also, need to have this thing right here the bone or B key on my keyboard. Also, you can do this with the vertex key. So, for example, let's say that. You want to start weight painting, assigning an influence of this bone to this whole top side right here. Because right now, if I were to just go ahead and move this bone, this doesn't do anything. No matter how much I move it, no matter in which direction I move it. So, what do I do? Well, like I said, you select the bone, you press start. And now you select a certain influence. For example, 100 is the one that it's gonna have the most influence, it's just gonna be it. And that bone is gonna be controlling everything. I've just done this little top side to show you. Well, our cube doesn't look really well just because I've moved it, but right now, if you move it, well, this also, this top side also moves. So, of course, you just don't want to do that. That doesn't look well. Well, let's select more vertices. For example, let's say, let's wait also this row. And another row. Even better. But, there's this little clipping right here. What do you do? Well, you're gonna change the influence to around 50, 75 or so. And here is a thing that I did not get till somewhat recently. There we go. The influence, for example, a bone needs to have one, or a vertice needs to have 100% influence. Yes, you just did 50 or 75, but for example, this is just the first bone. If I were to go right now onto the outer bone, well, that vertex is also influenced by it. For example, you have bone 1 and 2, and you weight bone 2. Well, here is the thing. If you weight with 75 on bone 2, this part, well, bone 1 will get the remaining weight. We'll get the 25 and it will control 
25% the vertice. Remember that your bone placement in the bone tab is also very important. That's why we did all that. So, make sure your bones are placed correctly and make sure you know what you're doing. <laughs> Again, bone placement is very important. Also naming. Naming is also very important. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's see how Rocky looks. Well, that looks a bit better. Even though it's clipping a lot, but hey, there's nothing that I can really do right now. You can also try, for example, just to adjust a little bit. For example, let's say you wait with, uh, I don't know, 75 this row right here. And this row right here. Go. So I'm going to hit our, any our vertices. I hope that's all right. And we go to transfer view. Well, that still clips, but it looks a lot better. Anyway, painting, you're going to have to try multiple things in order to get something that works. If you want some examples, well, get a known working model that you also like the formation on. And, well, see what are, well, which is which or how the artist painted. So with that, that is the absolute basic of weight painting. So like I said, I'm going to try to get our tutorials out. Links are going to be in the description with the art parts. And maybe I'm going to make a playlist, I don't know. But this is how you weight paint. The Absolute basic. Thanks for watching. I was Albert, Studios. See you in the next one.